Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Capricorn. Capricorn, this is your monthly messages from Spirit for October 2019. Now this is an intuitive read. I'm using messages from Spirit. I'm also using the Goddess Oracle and the Animal Spirit Oracle. I will be clarifying each of these cards with the Thelema Tarot. Now, at the end of your reading, I will be pulling a postcard from Spirit for you as well, Capricorn. So we have Reach Out. Thank you, Spirit. All right. What does Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign need to know, Spirit? Thank you. All right. We are ready. Undying Love. Expect a miracle. Beautiful. And bold. All right. Thank you, Spirit. What extra messages do you have for Capricorn? Sun, Moon, and Rising, Spirit. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. Capricorn, we are ready. All right, so we have bat spirit. We have coyote spirit. And we have owl spirit. Love it. All right. Thank you, spirit. All right, let's take a look here. We have reach out. We know you're reaching out right now for help due to a current situation. Support is as much about the physical act of accepting help where offered as it is about the emotional benefits and learning that it is truly okay to accept support however it's presented to you. You know, I feel like this is talking about you knowing how worthy you are of what your needs are, what needs that need to be met at this time, okay? So very powerful message here. And I feel this is also spirit saying that your angels and your spirit guides are working behind the scenes as well for you, Capricorn. So whatever uh, you've been dealing with, if it's been challenging, just know that there is something coming in here to relieve that. Now we have undying love. The love you have shared is eternal regardless of the situation. So, I feel with this energy coming up here, Capricorn, all that you have done, all the work you've put in, all the love you've shared uh, to those around you, even in past lives, it all has not gone unnoticed, okay? And I feel it's very important for you to be aware of that at this time. Spirit wants you to know this. So we have the star, the magician, and the world. Amazing. All right. All right, Capricorn. So we have the star here. This is the energy of Aquarius coming through. This talks about, you know, you needing to pay attention to your dream, sign, symbolism, and synchronicities at this time. I also, what I'm getting from this... Some of you may have a goal, you may have a dream, something that you really want, and you've been procrastinating, you haven't acted on it. You may feel that that, that dream or reaching for that star is too far off. You may have a doubt or a fear that's holding you back from reaching for it, and Spirit is saying at this time, go after what your heart's desire is, Capricorn. The magician, Gemini and Virgo energy, spirit says you have all the tools that you need available to you to use that laser focused intention and manifest and co-create your reality, what you want. But there's a need for you to take action. There's something that needs completed. Um, there's an ending here that needs to take place that's going to allow for you to start this new beginning, maybe going after that dream. Um, once you complete this chapter in your life, and this can be many different areas of your life. This could be a way of thinking even. This could be a way of doing something. But 
once you complete this, you're, you're going to have a sense of fulfillment here. And it's going to allow for you to successfully go after what it is that you're, you're seeking. Thank you, Spirit. All right. So expect a miracle. Have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered at this time, Capricorn. I do feel that some of you are really going through some type of hardship right now. <coughs> Excuse me. I am so sorry, Capricorn. I've been fighting allergies all week. Please bear with me. Whatever this lack or hardship is in your situation, Spirit wants you to know you have been heard. And like I said at the beginning, you have, you're never alone. And I, I want you to understand this. Even if you feel like you're alone here, all right, in this experience right here in time, uh, Spirit wants you to know that you are surrounded 24-7 by your angels and your spirit guides. And there are hundreds of them, if not more, that are waiting to help you. And you have been heard. And something is coming here. You may not be aware of it at this time, but it's coming, okay? The moon, nine of swords and eight of pentacles. All right. Thank you, spirit. I do, like I said, you guys really, with the moon coming up here, this is the energy of Pisces. Really go within. Tap into that inner well of knowledge that you hold. All the things that are unclear to you right now, there's a really big need for you to go within because all the answers you're seeking you hold within you, Capricorn. And I feel like whatever has been unclear, uh, there is a miracle. There is an answer. There is uh, something that's going to be resolved here that is going to bring more clarity. And it's like shining a light into your situation. Now, some of you may have recently been dealing with that dark night of the soul energy as well. And just know that all the inner work that you've done, um, you know, you have cheerleaders working behind the scene here with your angels and your spirit guides. And they're rooting you on at this time. You're being divinely guided, Capricorn. The Nine of Swords. This is that energy of anxiety overwhelmed by uh, situations, circumstances, maybe a way of thinking. Um, it, it can even be causing sleepless nights. Spirit says there's a need for you to break free from that energy. Because you are at the point, you know, the Eight of Pentacles represents mastery. What you're working on, what you're working towards, what you're building here. Whatever this has to do with, if this is you gaining more knowledge within a situation, some of you may even be going back to school, getting a master's degree. But you are very, you know, diligent, disciplined, and knowledged at what it is that you do. Spirit doesn't want you to worry, okay? So those of you that have really been going through a lot of stressful times, just know something's coming into your life. And this rep to me represents a long-term financial uh, situation that's coming up here for you. Uh, whatever this miracle or what you're waiting on, this could uh, be bringing in stability and security within your financial situation as well. Some of you, you may be uh, receiving news that you have an opportunity uh, with a, a career or a job that's going to be very high paying, which is going to relieve a lot of anxiety and stress as well. But you need to believe in yourself. You need to know that you can do it and that it was divinely guided. It was led to you. All right. It's a gift from spirit. Thank you so much, spirit. Now we have bold. Unleash your adventurous side. Take risks and be daring. Love it. Let the world know who Capricorn is. Okay? Let that inner child, that inner light shine. Be adventurous. I feel it, there's a need for you to, you know, let your hair down, you know, so to speak. And just move ahead with 
you know, maybe an idea that you have that you're, you know, you've been mulling around, maybe procrastinating. Turn that idea into something. I feel I'm getting a creative vision here for you guys. And you've been just holding off, holding off, maybe uh, hesitation and doubt holding you back. It's time to unleash that. It's time to take action on what it is. It's time for you to take these positive risks. And I know it says be daring. And, you know, my what I get from that, you know, by take risks and be daring is when you take a risk and you're trusting in spirit, you're trusting in the divine that's running within you and through you, I feel like all your tomorrows are going to be taken care of. But there's a need for you to take that risk and believe in yourself. Uh, take action on what this is to you. You never know unless you try, right? So you don't want to be 30 years from now, Capricorn, thinking back and being like, man, why didn't I do that? Why didn't I go after that dream? Why didn't I achieve that goal? Thank you, Spirit. Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, and the Page of Swords. Yes. Ace of Pentacles. This is reward for effort. This is prosperity. This is a seed that you have now to plant, to nurture. And this seed, if it's nurtured, taken care of, growth and expansion will come. And this can oftentimes represent long-term financial gain. You need to release something, whatever has been a heavy load or burden, just that heavy weight. Release it so it's lifted off of you so you can move forward and take action and start this new adventure here. Okay, the Ten of Wands definitely just talking about there's a completion here and it's time to let something go so you can move forward. Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. It's again, we're talking about taking action, ready for action. Ready to cut out anything that's not serving your best purpose and interest at this time? For some of you, this is gaining knowledge, getting organized, going back to school. Maybe changing careers after being in one certain career for years. This is you taking action on it. Ready for something new. Something that brings you... Uh, fulfillment and joy. Now we have that spirit. A rebirth is assured. <clears throat> I'm seeing the death, the energy of the death card in my mind's eye. You know, fives represent challenges, obstacles that we deal with, but we have, we gain knowledge from from those challenges and obstacles. It's like lessons, life's lessons. And I'm seeing the death card here where there's there's lessons to be learned which is going to allow for a completion or a cycle that is long overdue that needs to end. And it's going to allow for you to go through this rebirth, this transformation. But you have to let go of that and dump all that emotional baggage or toxic energies, maybe a toxic environment, work environment. You have to let it go. Once you do, a rebirth is assured here. Transformation, transitioning into a new beginning, a successful new beginning. Thank you, Spirit. All right. Page of Wands. Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. Yes. The Page of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This talks about you having that creative vision. That 
fresh idea, wanting to start this new project, this new job, this new career, having the self-confidence to go after it. There could be news coming in here that's going to be very exciting for you as well, Capricorn. This talks about messages, news coming in that's alerting you. Okay, this could be news coming in that's going to allow for you to let go of something that's been holding you back, blocking you. Which is going to allow for this rebirth to take place. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is your energy. Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. This is you being very down to earth, practical, grounded. Working towards stability and security within your situation, within your finances. Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is you being daring. This is you taking the positive risks here. Going after what your heart's true desire is. I always like to say with this energy, there's a caution. Make sure that you don't get so caught up with the excitement that you overlook anything. Okay? Thank you, Spirit. So now we have Coyote Spirit. Trust in divine detours. Trust in divine detours. What I'm getting here, Capricorn, you may have had something all planned out, how you were going to accomplish your goal or what it is that you're going after. Something got thrown in the mix and now you're just stuck. You're blocked. How you thought you were going to get there is no longer available. It's not because it's not meant to happen. It's because you got detoured for a reason. Spirit wants you to take a different path, a different route to reach that goal. It's very important that you trust in the divine at this time, knowing that that happened for a reason. It kept you maybe from going through a, a serious situation or a, a serious challenge. Okay? But not all's lost here. Spirit says, go after that goal. Go a different way. Okay? There's, a diff there's different ways available to you at this time. That's what Spirit is telling me. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Ten of Cups. Five of Wands. And the Eight of Wands. For many of you, this, this divine detour, I feel like it's, you feel it's just been a damper because you have the Ten of Cups here. This talks about your happiness, your home life, your family, that peace and joy that, that you hold within your heart. Whatever your goal you're trying to achieve or accomplish at this time, it, it's, this is, it's bringing, it's going to bring that emotional fulfillment and satisfaction and you know it. Spirit says, there's a promise of more of this to come, Capricorn. All of these cups in a rainbow are overflowing. Because something come up that has stopped you from going the direction you were going in to achieve that goal doesn't mean it's over. It just means it happened for a reason. And that's why it's very, I just cannot say this enough. You have to trust in the divine. Spirit is saying you will, you will reach this energy. Five of Wands. Here's the setback. Just confirmation here. Okay, this represents a minor setback. That's taken place. And what's crazy is, this is what's clarifying trust in divine detours. And that's what it is, a minor setback. Go back, reevaluate. Get organized. Find a different path, a different direction. Go within. 
Eight of Wands. Spirit says there are many options and opportunities available to you. What you've put out is coming in very quickly, Capricorn. And it's all good. Good news. Okay? These could be different paths, different opportunities that are going to arise here for you to complete your goal, achieve it, go after it. Some of you may be relocating as well, traveling. Some of you may be receiving news and messages about how you're going to be able to go about with this divine detour. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you so much. Now, this is just amazing. Owl Spirit, you see clearly now. You see clearly now. You have clear vision. Your third eye is open. Your crown chakra is open. Capricorn, you are open. You're ready to receive the messages from spirit, your spirit guides, and your angels. Things are coming together for you. You now know this new path. You now know which direction you're going to go to achieve that goal. Thank you so much, Spirit. Things that were hidden from you are no longer hidden. Four of Cups, Ten of Wands again, Five of Swords, King of Swords. All right. I love this. You have the Four of Cups. Again. Offers are going to start coming in. Uh, when I say offers, uh, new ideas, new ways of seeing how you're going to achieve and reach that goal, they start coming in. You're really looking at it with this energy right here. Things that are being offered, it's not exactly what you want. Something's coming here. Make sure you don't overlook it. Make sure you don't judge a book by its cover. This is the time for you to really tap into your inner well of knowledge, Capricorn. Because something's coming that's going to be offered which is going to allow for you to become unstuck, all right? Whatever's been holding you back or blocking you, you're going to be freed from it. Then there's completion here. Carrying around those heavy energies, that heavy load, that heavy burden about being stuck or feeling blocked. Now I'm seeing the Ace of Wands in my mind's eye. Now, since this is over, you're free to start moving forward in the direction that you're wanting to go with this creative vision, with whatever your goal, whatever you're trying to accomplish and achieve here. There's a need for you to stand in your power, stand in your truth at this time. I always say, pick and you choose your battles wisely with this energy. People may not agree with you. I'm getting for some of you, you're going to relocate. And I, I think family and friends are not going to like it. But, you know, whatever the situation is with this, stand in your truth. You may, you may need to speak your truth, okay? You have to do what's right and what's just for you. This is your destiny, okay? Not anybody else's. So if there's something you're wanting to go after... You definitely need to break free from anybody that may be limiting or restricting you. King of Swords. Again, we're talking about what's right and what's just. Again, Gem Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy right here. It's time for you to be assertive. It's time for you to, to speak out about what you want, what you're wanting to manifest and co-create. It's time for you to take action, okay? Okay. And being very direct. This is the time for you to use this sword of truth here. To cut out the weeds. Cut out the toxic energies. The toxic people. The toxic environment. So you can move forward. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. All 
All right. Dearest you, we know everything in the universe is perfect, even if it's flaws. And we view the creations of spirit in total awe. All is unique, yet part of unity of existence. But the human experience is a little different from ours. You, two, you tend to have a specific standard for what you consider ideal. And this isn't serving you right now. So forget your idea of perfection and see through our eyes. Allowing things to be as they are without judgment. Don't wait until a perfect moment or mood to start something. Instead, enter life with all its flawlessness. You are exactly where you're supposed to be. Let others be who they are too. Imperfect and human, complex or simple, it doesn't matter. For there is always something to discover, experience, and love. When you drop the need for an ideal, you uncover the real treasure, which will be far more interesting and valuable, loving you like crazy. All right. Thank you so much, Spirit. I love you, Capricorns. I thank each and every one of you for, for being here with me along my journey, and I am so blessed to be a part of yours. Please leave me a comment. Let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings. And I will see you next time, Capricorn. Bye-bye.